students uh, this is dr raimini himbrum and uh, i'll be taking a topic in the subject of high tech horticulture this is a six semester course and the topic is micro propagation of horticultural crops so first we'll see what is micro propagation micro propagation is basically a tissue culture technique which is used as an asexual mode of reproduction in plants in micro propagation what happens a minute size plant cell or tissue is taken and it is grown in a culture medium under sterilized conditions to produce plants in numerous quantity so micro propagation can also be said as a mode of clonal prop propagation because all the plants which are produced through this method they are the clones of their parents as they are identical to the parents uh, the ex plant which is the starting material in case of micro propagation it needs to have totipotency and uh, totipotency is the capacity of the cell to regenerate into a whole new plant so the ex plant which will be used in micro propagation uh, it needs to have totipotency there are different stages of micro propagation as suggested by murashigi in 1974 and we'll see the stages one by one the first stage is the establishment stage in this stage what happens uh, suitable ex plants will be taken suitable ex plant means the ex plant should be disease free and uh, it should have meristematic tissues that means it should the tissue should be active dividing tissue or the cell so after selection of suitable ex plant they are first surface sterilized uh, by washing it and also with the help of chemical sterilants and after st surface sterilization these ex plants are shifted to culture media this culture media will contain all the macronutrients as well as micronutrients to provide nutrition to the uh, ex plant for its growth the second stage is the proliferation stage where the ex plant will be transferred to the proliferating media which will result in multiplication of shoots from the ex plant and then the third stage is the rooting stage here what happens uh, the shoots which are obtained in the second stage that is the proliferation stage they first will be separated and then they will be put into the rooting media and it will lead to uh, rooting of the uh, shoots after that uh, it is shifted to the fourth stage that is the hardening or the acclimatization stage so now the uh, now what we will have is the plantlets which will have both the complete system complete vascular system consisting of shoots as well as the roots so after this in hardening uh, stage what uh, is done is the plants the plantlets are shifted into sterile soil or any other artificial medium and they are kept in growth chambers where they are provided with uh, conditions external factors like uh, light temperature light intensity and others uh, which are suitable for the growth of the plant and uh, uh, and uh, and, uh, and 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 all this will happen under sterile conditions still under sterile conditions so this will be your hardening and for under acclimatization after uh, growing in the growth chamber for some time then the plantlets are ready to be shifted to the main field sometimes this uh, stage 3 and stage 4 they are combined together and uh, uh, it can be said as rooting and hardening stage okay this slides which you see is the various stages of micro propagation so this is a pictorial representation of various stages of micro propagation here the first stage is which i said earlier is the uh, selection of the suitable ex plant and after uh, its surface sterilization it is introduced and established in the culture media and all these things will happen under the aseptic conditions or the sterile conditions then after first stage uh, the ex plant will be shifted to second stage that is the proliferating stage or the multiplication it can be also said as multiplication stage wherein uh, the ex plant is shifted into the proliferating media or the proliferation media 
and as a result of which shooting takes place. After the second stage, the uh, explant is shifted to the third stage, that is the rooting stage. In rooting stage, again the explant is uh, subjected to the rooting media for the rooting to take place. And after here, you can see in the picture the uh, explant it has both the shoot as well as root system, and then it is shifted to the fourth stage, that is the acclimatization or the hardening stage. Here it is, it will be grown in uh, uh, sterile conditions, in growth chamber, and in planted will in and will be planted in a sterile soil or any kind of uh, artificial me medium like cocoa pit. The next slide is the same uh, different stages of micropropagation but with the help of live pictures. So this is your first stage where the explant is uh, uh, established in the culture medium. This is the second stage that is the proliferating stage and uh, here you can see there are numerous shoots emerging from the explant. And after shoot multiplication like I said before the shoots will be separated it will be separated and then it will be uh, subjected to rooting media for rooting to happen and after the and after obtaining the complete plantlet it will be shifted to growth chamber in a pot and then for the final shifting to the main field so the next topic under uh, micropropagation is the meristem and shoot tip culture. So this I will discuss stage here wise. So the first thing we will see that is in stage one, the explant. So under meristem and shoot tip culture, the explant which will be selected is the meristem, apical meristem. See, here in this portion, this is the apical meristem which will be present in the extreme tip of the stem. And this apical meristem is mainly a dome of tissues, a dome of tissues which is mainly of the size 0.1 mm diameter and its length will be uh, 0.25 to 0.3 mm. So when we are taking the apical meristem along with 2 to 3 leaf primordium leaf primordial means the cells which will uh, eventually uh, turn into new leaves. So here the adjoining structures of the apical meristem, here you can see the protruding structures, these are the leaf primordia. So when you take apical meristem, this apical meristem along with these adjoining leaf primordia, it will constitute